When solving for force and mass and acceleration are given, the calculation is very straightforward. Just be force is equal to the mass in kilograms times the acceleration in meters per second squared. Just multiply those two together and you will get 40 point eight newtons and if we round that to sig figs that would be 41 newtons okay and how that would look with dimensional analysis we would have our mass we'd have our mass times our acceleration 7 meters per second squared, which would result in the 41 kg times m over second squared, which is equivalent to the 41 newtons. All right, calculating for mass given force and acceleration. Uh, one way that you could do this is with uh, dimensional analysis. So let's first plug in our force, 200, and I'm going to write it kg m over second squared, which that is the same units for Newtons, just more spelled out and we will end up taking our acceleration and the 200 and the 3.2 will end up being divided 3.2 meters one second squared because that cancels out meters meters second squared second squared resulting in our kilograms being carried all the way through and when we divide that out that would be 62.5 kg okay so that's how the units end up working out you can also solve this problem by taking your force and dividing it by acceleration and that would also give you the 62.5 kilograms. Solving for acceleration given force and mass. This one will look extremely similar to the force cal or for the um, mass calculation. Uh, and I'll first again show you with dimensional analysis. So 8 kilograms right here. And let's plug in our force. And I'm going to again plug it in with uh, the expanded units. Solving for acceleration given force and mass. This will look really similar to solving for uh, mass. With, and I'm going to show you first with dimensional analysis. Going to write out the units for force, the full units. There we go. So that we can really see where the acceleration units are. And those are right here. So I know that those have to carry through to the end. So my next step is placing my mass in the proper spot so that the units cancel out. So it would have to go down here. Kilograms, kilograms, cancel out. So 76 divided by the mass, or the force divided by the mass, is equal to acceleration. 
So 76 divided by 8 is 9.5 meters per second squared.